very much for that. Let's get an important voice from the corporate world. My colleague Shilpa Rani Peta caught up with Kaushik Chatterjee, CFO of Tata Steel, to discuss steel prices, global macro conditions, and the impact on business. Listen in. Well, I think um, last year we had a lot of challenges, uh, both in India as well as globally. Um, but I think uh, as we see now with uh, China opening up, um, U.S. doing pretty good. Mm -hmm. I think we are in time where steel prices, the the low of the steel prices, uh, may be behind us, okay. and uh, we we have a very strong uh, demand drivers, especially in India. Mm -hmm. And India will continue to grow uh, right. as a country. Right. Uh, investments are happening uh, in infrastructure. There's a huge capital allocation that has been given. And uh, steel is a foundational sector for the country, so you can make your own judgment. Yeah. Uh, what about the steel demand in Europe? What's the scenario like there? It's uh, it stabilized much more than what it was. Okay. Um, as I said, the, the the war in Ukraine had a disruptive impact. Right. Uh, there was also uh, impact on the uh, gas prices and energy prices, which is kind of getting stabilized, mm -hmm. uh, not to the level which it was before the war, Correct. but at least the volatility has smoothed and a lot. And uh, we'll see as to how Europe recovers from right. the impact and how does the uh, long-term effects of the war get priced in as far as industry in Europe is concerned. You said strong demand scenarios in India, but what about the export scenario? What is that like uh, at the moment? India, India's in, actually the Indian steel is uh, largely going to be absorbed in the country if the okay. infrastructure spend is there. Okay. Uh, there is a certain amount of exports that happen. Exports are also healthy and good, but the focus is always on domestic consumption. Okay. Get into a break. On the other side, we'll get you more in the markets.